Uh, greetings. Uh, thank you for stopping by to watch um, this book review uh, of mine. Today I'll be reviewing um, Chinese music and Chinese musical instruments uh, by uh, Xi Chang. In general, I've read a few um, Chinese books so far about a few books so far about Chinese music, Chinese musical instruments, um, like the Arhu, the Pipa. Um, I'm also reading another Chinese. Um, instrument book right now which is kind of more along the ethno music ethno musicological lines and more hard facts research based um, this book right here is a very nice overview of Chinese musical instruments so it does give uh, go into some detail related to Chinese musical history I uh, guess into talking about Chinese dynasties but it lays it out in a nice um, organized and friendly format so you can see the table of contents right here pretty detailed lays out everything that um, uh, the author talks about and he stays pretty committed to that um, another great thing is that the book is very very colorful so I've read books before that mainly it's mainly text and so it can get pretty, uh, pretty uh, bland sometimes and there's not uh, pictures in the book to kind of keep you stimulated while you're reading um, this book has lots and lots of pictures uh, the author uh, starts off by giving an overview of uh, Chinese musical history and philosophy in Chinese culture, um, kind of the uh, typical symbolisms of Chinese music. It's good for the soul, um, builds moral character and such. Then she uh, he skips along to talking about um, the modern folk orchestra, the structure of the orchestra, the layout of the instruments. And then the next portion of the book is um, uh, regarded towards talking about the different instruments within the Chinese folk orchestra, a, a pretty fun part of the book. Um, so each, each section of instruments split into four parts, plucked instruments, bowed instruments, uh, percussion instruments, as well as blown instruments. So in, in these sections, um, the author has kind of live demonstrations of the instruments as long as uh, as well as talking about some of the uh, technical aspects of the instruments and he also includes some uh, little anecdotes and side stories about the instruments to kind of uh, create a, a more holistic view of the instrument and how it has been viewed throughout uh, Chinese musical history so um, very nice part of the book uh, he doesn't just graze through uh, the instruments for the most part um, does go into detail related to uh, the different types of instruments within the particular sections of the orchestra. So a person can get a feel for the diversity within the um, modern Chinese folk orchestra. The third part of the book is discussing uh, Chinese musical history, uh, kind of from the beginning. Um, uh, Chang lays out uh, musical history in four different eras, the rudimentary stage, uh, the thriving stage, uh, the mature stage, and then the contemporary and modern stages. And finally, um, he discusses or in, ends the book with talking about different regional musics and some of the associated instruments with those uh, different styles. So I have three main critiques of the book. Uh, one is that the, the author kind of hops fairly quickly into talking about the uh, Chinese folk orchestra. Um, and then we get into the history once you get towards the back of the book. And so I felt like if we had gotten um, discussion of uh, history of the Chinese musical instruments and their associated dynasties, that would have laid a, um, a stronger and more solid foundation for um, uh, conceptualizing these uh, modern Chinese folk orchestra instruments. Uh, another is that within discussion of the four eras, um, I found the uh, rudimentary and the thriving stages to be really information heavy and uh, a lot of information that really stuck with me. Uh, and then with discussion of the mature and contemporary stages, I feel like they were, uh, went through pretty quickly, um, kind of grazed through some information, didn't go into too much detail. So I didn't really, I uh, uh, wasn't able to grasp too much of that inf uh, information and it kind of felt incomplete uh, in talking about uh, the errors and um, the current stage of Chinese music. My third critique is that uh, Tang ends the book by talking about regional music styles. And while it is important in itself, um, he could have written a whole different book on uh, the regional musics. And I felt like that part didn't necessarily fit best into the book. It kind of felt like something that 
he just tagged on at the end uh, to say goodbye. And so uh, that also felt incomplete uh, and unfulfilling at the end. So in general, though, um, this book uh, is very nice. I highly recommend it for those who would like um, a more solid grasp of Chinese musical history, <clears throat> uh, but also being able to um, learn more about the instruments in the modern Chinese folk orchestra, uh, the different uh, categorizations of the instruments, both in um, the uh, ancient times and in the uh, contemporary uh, sense. So um, you definitely will learn a lot about the Chinese um, instruments in the folk orchestra. Uh, and, and again, these the pictures are uh, beautiful. Um, there's so many different pictures uh, in this book. <clears throat> um, and you never get tired of it. It is a, it is a great starter book. And uh, those books that I've read before about Chinese musical instruments, um, now that I have a more solid grasp of the subject matter, um, I feel compelled to go back and read uh, those books. So um, uh, again, Chinese Music and Musical Instruments by uh, Xi Chang. Um, I rented this book from a university library, but um, I think I may just buy a personal copy uh, from my collection because it is pretty good. So uh, if you have any um, comments, maybe you read the book or if you have any suggestions for um, other good texts on Chinese music and Chinese music history, uh, please feel free to post those below. Otherwise, I'll talk to you next time. Take care.